I know how pedophiles operate firsthand. My childhood was destroyed by a man named Gary Lundquist. He was a fifth grade school teacher. After dating my mom for only a few weeks, Gary told my mom he thought that I should go spend a weekend with him all by myself. My mother thought it was a good idea. The very first night, he asked if he could take a picture of me. That was the last time I had my innocence. After Gary took the photograph, he took me down to his basement, made me strip naked, and locked me inside a cage. For the next three days, he tortured me. He put a collar around my neck, be trained like I was a dog. I had to sit and stay. He made me eat dog food, and I was bound in different ways and raped with objects. Gary told me that I was his sex slave now. I was so confused, I thought he would kill me. Gary belonged to a child sex ring. I was prostituted to men. I was forced to do every imaginable sexual act and tortured in all different types of ways. Many of the men would either electrocute me, I was beaten up several times, I was gang raped. Whenever I would disobey Gary, he would punish me. He had a stun gun. All he had to do was threaten me with the stun gun and I would do anything he said. When I was nine years old, I was sent to stay with a man named Frank. Frank was a pornographer in New York City. I would stay with him sometimes for days at a time while he filmed me doing all sorts of sexual acts with other people. Frank was the scariest man I ever knew. To disobey him meant instant, painful punishment. The abuse was so horrible that I really lost all hope and began to think that the only way out was suicide. When I hear stories about other survivors, I know how hard it's going to be to adjust to normal life. It's not your fault. You have to believe that it is possible to overcome it. She's written about her triumph in a powerful memoir titled, Scared Selfless, My Journey from Abuse and Madness to Surviving and Thriving. Please welcome Michelle Stevens. Michelle, thank you for being here, and thank you for writing this book. When you listen to our conversation here, what we've been talking about, some of it is hauntingly similar, correct? It is. Uh, when I was reading about your story, the ways that we were treated, the tortures that we suffered, the ways that we were prostituted are remarkably similar. It was incredibly difficult. And what do you do now? I'm a therapist. <laughs> right. um, um, and you have a PhD in psychology, I right? Do. And you are equipped to help survivors uh, of just this kind of experience, correct? Correct. And I have had a few clients over the years who have similar stories to yours. You have to make a decision not to give in to the despair.